What's up guys, welcome to Dub and Dad Gaming and today we'll be talking about Alliance War Rating Adjustment. Okay, so first things first, we I just want to show you guys um, our alliance. We're close to 18 million, war rating is 1,993. Um, last season we were gold 1, um, we tried making a push for Flatterm but obviously didn't make it there. Um, I've been in this alliance, we've been in this alliance for over two years now. Um, good thing about it, it's a combination of, you know, being casual and um, at the same time doing map 5 and AQ and still being very competitive in um, alliance war. The reason why we're making this video is a few weeks ago, we were, our rating was already at like 2600 war rating. What happened was we got a point reduction of 150. No email from Kabam, no nothing. So we we started talking amongst each other like what happened? Why did we, why did we get a point reduction? So we sent, you know, we sent a ticket to Kabam. We got the same generic response as everybody else. Like um, you know, they take uh violations of the terms of service very seriously blah 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 basically same old bs nothing helpful nothing definitive so everybody talked and said like so what happened did anybody log in for each other and one of the officers said yes i logged in for somebody during aq because that person was on vacation okay i know a lot of you who are watching this are already gonna say okay they're cheaters they log in for each other and because of that, we definitely deserve the 150 point point uh, the 150 point reduction. That's fine. But after that, everybody made an effort. We said, okay, no more of this stuff. If you can't play, it is what it is. Just let uh, people know so we can plan ahead of time. So we went ahead. We went about our business, did our wars. And two weeks ago, we got a 300 point reduction. We finally got an email from Kabam, which is Attention Alliance Leader, one or more of your Alliance members have violate, has violated the Terms of Service and Alliance War. As a result, your war rating has been reduced accordingly. So after seeing that, our leader was like, what the hell? Like, why did we lose another 300 points? None of us are, you know, we, to be honest with you guys, it's funny because we hate cheaters. Like, we think piloting and cheating, we think it's both pathetic and frustrating because, I mean, jeez. And I can understand, like, um, I, I, I've experienced people uh, with, what do you call this? When I was uh, starting off, when WAR just came out, we faced a bunch of cheaters who obviously clearly use mods. But... I'm not saying that our alliance is really high, but at this point, we're not using any mods, that's for sure. So basically, all we can think of is Kabam thinks that somebody is piloting, right? So we were like, okay, guys, let's just make sure that none of this stuff happens. Let's just try, um, you know, to keep doing what we're doing. No cheating, no nothing, no piloting, because we've never done any of those things. Last week, guess what? We get another 300 point reduction, no email, no anything. So now we're down to 1993. And this is not bragging, but I, I just wanted to show you guys how frustrating this is. The last 10 wars that we've had, we've lost one time. So I, I think that's pretty good. And definitely there's no cheating or piloting in our alliance. It's just frustrating because um, Kabam keeps lowering these uh, the points. And the reason why I also made this video was I saw a Prof Hoff's video about um, uh, alliance, uh, like some alliances being innocent and still points are being taken away from them. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Like some of the higher alliances, I'm not going to name them. I mean, they're clearly cheating, but I guess they're doing a good job in masking their cheating. So a very good job. Yeah, very good job. <laughs> So, us mid, mid-tier mid alliances, we're getting hit hard by this. I mean, it's just ridiculous. We're trying to play the, the game the right way. And so, 
what we've tried to do is the last few days we've been sending tickets to Kabam. Um, I, because I initially thought that maybe it's me and Dub because because of this heating issue with the iPhone, I, Dub's iPhone five, man is seriously like you can you can burn something with that. It's so hot. So he uses our iPad, um, and he's used my iPhone when he did his Legends run. He had to use my iPhone because obviously it's an iPhone eight. It's way faster than the iPhone five. And from time to time, I will use the iPad when I'm charging my iPhone. I sent uh, an email to Kabam support asking if this is, you know, this might be deemed as cheating. They said, no, it's perfectly acceptable since me and Dub also have the same Apple ID. Um, I, I, I'm just, you know, so paranoid that they might think same um, IP address, like multiple devices, whatever. I'm not a techie, but I, I was just thinking Kabam might think that we're, you know, account sharing. It, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, so what I wanted to show you guys now is, uh, the generic responses that Kabam has been sending. I mean, it's just the same old copy paste response. So give me a second. Let me access it. So this is the, um, response I got from Kabam. Cause I, I asked, will me and my son get penalized for this? I should have put like, will the Alliance get penalized for this? And I guess not. So it says here, thank you for reaching uh, out to us today, blah, blah, blah. Um, it says here, it's okay to switch phones so that you can continue playing the game. The only thing that matters is that you mustn't share your account credentials. So, cause I did mention to them that we have to switch devices because obviously it, it gets really hot. Um, so according to them, it's not a violation, but you know, we, after years of dealing with Kabam, we know how consistent they are. Yes. I'm being sarcastic. They can be, one person can say this and another person can say, nope, nope, it's a violation. So the second uh, picture I wanted to show you guys is, this. so this is ba our battle group three. Believe it or not, they all work in the same building and they wanted to show all their devices, <laughs> like nine of them, nine of them work together. I mean, isn't that awesome, right? But we're thinking that Kabam might think that, uh, that they're account sharing, but it's clear with this picture that they all have separate phones and just like mo most of everybody else, we have all our backup devices like iPads, iPhones, or uh, whatever it is in Android um, that we use. <laughs> and what's frustrating about this is Kabam won't specifically address the issue. We've sent various tickets, several tickets, same generic response. It's like they don't even read it anymore. The moment they see like something about war, they just oh, copy and paste. Copy and paste, which is this one. I'm sure everybody has gotten this. World, uh, everybody who sent a ticket about Alliance War, everybody has sent. See, in an effort to keep the contest fair and competitive, blah blah blah. So the problem here is that alliances who are innocent are getting punished. And the messed up part about this is we keep dropping in rating and we don't know wh who it is or why it's happening because Kabam will not tell us. I, I understand that they're trying to keep privacy and all that stuff, okay? Don't get me wrong. I understand. Maybe if they just give a 24-hour ban to that person, because, I mean, we'll see who, who it is. And then I, I'm pretty sure nobody in our alliance is cheating. But then if that person gets banned, we can hopefully contest it and find out what's going on. And we can fix the problem. It, because the way it's set up right now, you can't fix the problem because Kabam won't tell you what exactly the problem is. Which is a load of crap. I mean, this is just BS, guys. Uh... I know it's not just us that's gotten hit by this. Um, it's many more alliances who try to do the right thing. I mean, 750 points is a lot, guys. That's like, that's like what? Like close to 30% of our war rating. And I mean, it's a good thing it's happening now, you know, when the season hasn't started yet. But still, 750 points is 750 points, guys. So, um... What do you guys think? What should Kabam do? I mean, because as players, we can't do anything. We've sent 
thousands of tickets, but if Kabam will just keep copy pasting the same thing, nothing will happen. Um, and hopefully Kabam just fixes the situation. It's not that hard to let the leader know or some of the officers know what's what exactly is going on or maybe put a 24 hour ban on that particular person so we can just find out what what, what exactly is going on mm -hmm. so anyway what do you guys think let us know in the comment section below and sorry for the long video it's just very very frustrating when you try to play the right way and so and you get penalized and the clear cheaters obviously don't get penalized so Anyway, guys, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching.